Attached to this lesson, you will find file called pos.txt. Please download it to your computer. This file contains five objects. Here they are. And those objects will be inserted as new documents into the pos collection. Let's look at this object. This object consists of following fields. Title, that is a title of sample post. Post ID, that is a number 3511, for example. And you may notice that each post ID is unique across all posts. Then number of comments, shared, true or false, tags, it is array of tags, and author, that is an object that consists of two key value pairs, name of the author and nickname of the author. In this sample data, some posts are created by the same author, for example, this one and last one, same author, Mike Forrester. Also, this one and this one are created by Emily Watson. Question for you. What is the data format of each object? Is it JSON, extended JSON, or BSON, or something else? Please think about that. What is your answer? Answer is following. This format is simply format of the JavaScript object, because you don't see double quotes around each key. You can easily use JavaScript objects in the MongoDB shell, because MongoDB shell is based on JavaScript. And you can use such kind of objects in order to assign them to the variable and then insert this variable as a document into the MongoDB database. And you may notice that each object has different value types. For example, here is string, here is integer 32, here is a number that will be stored as a double, here is boolean, array and object. Ok, let's move on and in the next lecture we will insert a couple of documents into the collection called POS. And then you will insert the rest of the documents yourself. See you in the next lecture. Bye-bye.